Hello champions, how are you? So there's another question and the question says that a transverse traveling wave is moving through a medium. The graph shows for one instant the variation with distance of displacement of particle in the medium. Okay, the display this graph is given to us. The frequency of the wave is 25 hertz. So we will write all the given data here 25 hertz and the speed of the wave is 100 meter per second okay the speed is given that is 100 meter per second what is the correct for this wave so this is a displacement and distance graph it means that this graph is of a wave and particle is shown on the displacement distance graph so let's see what's happening the particle x and y are in phase so definitely not because this is moving this particle will now move downwards and this particle will move upwards they are not in a phase so this is not the right answer the velocity of the particle at x is maximum no at x the velocity is zero because it is the extreme point so once the particle reaches at extreme point it comes back so at this instant the velocity becomes zero okay then the c point the horizontal distance between x and z is three so the distance so we need to calculate the lambda first that we don't know so the lambda means that how much the wave is traveling in one t so f is equals to one by t so t is equals to one by f and f is given to us one by 25 so this much second is the value of t so the distance is equals to speed into time and lambda is equals to the speed that is 100 and time is 1 by 25 so this is 4 meter so this is 4 meter so we can divide it into 4 zones that is 1 2 3 4 and each zone is of 1 meter 1 1 1 1 so so the distance now we need from x to z from x to z it is 1 2 3 that is 3 meters so the horizontal distance between x and z is 3 meters yes definitely we have calculated it then the velocity of particle at y is 100 so we will now just remove all this so that we can look what is the next point the velocity of the particle at x is 100 at y is 100 at y here also the velocity will be zero because this is the extreme position and this after being zero it will first it will come there and then it is now moving back so only c option is the right option so now we will check the mark scheme mark scheme says c is the right answer so just look it to the all answers the, it is not in the face it is coming downward it is coming going upwards and then velocity is not maximum it is zero here is also zero and for this distance we need the time and after the time we need lambda so hope you now understood the question so thank you for watching this video if you have some doubts just put it in the comments